Hello my dear students! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is me once again, Teacher Team, your science teacher for today's vlog. Siyempre, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates in Science 7. Another vlog. So welcome to quarter four, week seven and eight for module seven and eight for your science seven. Yes, combine na dito ang ating lesson ng week seven and week eight. For today's vlog, we're going to discuss about eclipses. And for the core content of this lesson vlog, this is all about the occurrence of eclipses. And for the most essential learning competencies, we have one. Oh, okay, so we only have one milk for today. So to explain how solar and lunar eclipses occur uh, using models. In this lesson, you will learn more about eclipse. And familiar ba kayo kapag sinabi natin eclipse? So pag sinabi kasi natin eclipse, an eclipse takes place when one heavenly body such as moon, or planet moves into the shadow of another heavenly bodies. So there are two types of eclipses on Earth. Ano ano yon? Ayan, very good. So we have an eclipse of the moon and also eclipse of the sun. So ano kaya ang pagkakaiba ng dalawang to? Okay, so bago tayo magpatulong, meron muna ako itatangsin sa inyo. So have you ever experienced to make your own shadow? Paano nga ba nagkakaroon ng shadow? Yes, kagaya nito. Or kagaya rin nito. So, shadow, ito yung tinatawag natin anino. Ano nga ba ang dahilan bakit may shadow? Paano nagkakaroon ng shadow? At are shadow present in space? Bakit kaya? Shadows are made by blocking of light. Napapansin nyo ba na, let's say for example, uh, nasa isang liwanag kayo, or merong flashlight, tinapat nyo doon sa wall. So, kapag sinanggahan nyo yung... Okay, let's say, for example, ito yung flashlight. Okay, so, na ito yung wall. So, nilagay mo yung kamay mo dyan. So, ang tendency niyan, nabablock niya yung ilaw galing sa flashlight ninyo. So, ang tendency, ang makikita nyo na doon sa wall is shadow, yung anino na. So, ibig sabihin, shadows are made by blocking off light. So, alam naman natin na light travels from a source in a straight line. So, kapag ang isang solid object or an opaque object gets in a way, so, nahaharangan nito, napipigilan nito yung light na mag-travel papunta dun sa kanyang pupuntahan. And this results in an area of darkness and appearing behind the object. At yung uh, dark object na nga na yun, yun na yung tinatawag natin, shadow. And dun sa pangalawang tanong na nag exist din ba ang shadow sa space? Of course, yes! Earth blocks the sun's light from reaching sky above you. So, no light means no heat. So, that's why nights are almost always cooler than days. Kaya naman, shadows exist in space too. Okay? There are two types of eclipse. The solar eclipse and the lunar eclipse. So, ano ang pagkakaiba ng solar sa lunar eclipse? So, unahin muna natin ang solar eclipse. Okay, so ang solar eclipse, ganito ang nangyayari tuwing solar eclipse. So, ang tatandaan nyo lang sa solar eclipse is yung ating uh, acronym na SME. It means Sun, Moon, and Earth. So, kapag solar eclipse, it occurs when the moon passes directly between the sun and the earth. The moon blocks the light rays and casts a shadow on earth. So let's say for example, ito yung sun. Okay, ito yung sun. Okay, sun. Tapos ito yung earth. So since SME, nasa gitna ang moon. So may tendency na ito yung sun, ito yung earth. Pero dito sa gitnang part na to, dumadaan dyan yung moon. Kaya nga sabi dito ay, moon passes between the sun and the earth. So, solar eclipse, yan yung kunwari ma, ma, maaraw, tas biglang nagdilim kasi nga, ibig sabihin na black siya ng moon sa pagitan ng earth and sun. Okay, yan ang solar eclipse na tinatawag natin. While, ang lunar eclipse naman, 
of course, when the sun, the earth, and the moon are in straight line. So, kung kanina ang solar eclipse ay S and E, which is sun, moon, and earth, dito naman sa lunar eclipse, we have SEM, sun, earth, and moon. So, ganito naman ang kanyang figure. Okay, so again, lunar eclipse, of course, when the sun, earth, and the moon are in straight line. And the earth casts a shadow on the surface of the moon. Meron din tayong tinatawag na total solar eclipse and partial solar eclipse. So, a solar eclipse is called total solar eclipse if the sun appears totally dark. As in, madilim na siya. Ibig sabihin na cover na ng moon yung buong uh, sun, kaya kumbaga nagdilim na siya. So, yun, yun yung total solar eclipse. But, if only part of the sun appears dark, so may part pa rin na maliwanag, ang tawag naman natin dito ay partial solar eclipse or partial eclipse. During a solar eclipse, some people on Earth will see a total eclipse. In another area, they will see a partial eclipse. Tuwing may solar eclipse, may mga, ta may mga tao sa mundo, sa Earth natin, na nakikita nila yung total eclipse. Habang sa ibang area naman, ang nakikita naman nila ay partial eclipse. At syempre, may mga ibang area na hindi nila talaga nanonotice yung pagkakaiba ng appearance doon sa sun. Only the people within the small area covered by the center of the moon shadow will see a total eclipse. Sino sa inyo ang familiar doon sa Philippine Got Talent nga ba yun? Di ba may, may sumali doon na El Gama Pinumbra? So ano yung kanilang concept ng kanilang talent? Di ba uh, bumaga, sumasayaw sila gamit ang shadow at doon nila nakuha yung kanilang pangalan na Ay, pero hindi ako masyadong sure ha. Pero, uh, I mean, uh, dun, kasi ang pangalan nila yung El Gama Penumbra. So, may, yung Penumbra, it's, it's another, uh, it's one of the types of shadow. Okay, so ngayon, during an eclipse, there two shadows are cast. Meron tayong dalawang makikita doon sa shadow na, 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 ano to, na nagagawa when it comes to blocking of light. So, ang tinatawag natin na umbra at saka penumbra. So, ano yung pagkakaiba ng umbra sa penumbra? So, the umbra, okay, umbra is the dark center portion of the shadow. So, yung umbra, ito yung portion ng moon's shadow kung saan yung moon ay talaga namang completely covers the sun. Talagang, ayan, nakocover talaga niya yung buong sun. Ano? So, yun yung umbra. And the moon's umbra causes total solar eclipses. So, kapag nagkaroon ng total solar eclipse, gawa yun na umbra. So, umbra ang tawag doon sa shadow na yun. Ngayon, kapag naman tinawag natin pinumbra, so ito naman yung lighter part of the shadow. So, ito naman yung nagkakos ng partial solar eclipse. Solar eclipse occurs on a new moon phase of the month. This is because the moon's orbit is tilted and does not always fall in a straight line with the earth and the sun. And alam nyo ba na ang total solar eclipse can last for several hours and totality can range from a few seconds to 7.5 minutes. O diba? Isn't it amazing? At alam nyo ba that the longest total solar eclipse of the 21st century took place on July 22, 2009. At gaano to nagtagal? So the totality lasted for 6 minutes and 39 seconds. Now, pag-usapan naman ulit natin ang lunar eclipse. So sabi nga natin, pag lunar eclipse, ano ang kanyang position ng mga heavenly bodies? SEM stands for Sun, Earth, and Moon. So, during lunar eclipse, during lunar eclipse, the moon is in the Earth's shadow, but the moon does not appear completely dark. So, medyo nagugluo lang to ng medyo dim, medyo dim orange or red color. So, nangyayari ito dahil may ibang um, yung uh, sunlight 
ano, yung konting liwanag nito ay naabot nito yung moon indirectly, unlike doon kanina sa solar eclipse. So, this light bounces off the gases that surrounds the Earth and then hits the moon. So, ang lunar eclipse, nangyayari ito kapag full moon, but not every full moon phase of the month. Ano, hindi lagi. Pero kalimitan nangyayari ang lunar eclipse tuwing full moon. And meron din tayong tinatawag syempre na partial lunar eclipse. So, yung partial lunar eclipse, nangyayari ito, only a portion of the moon enters the Earth's umbra. While yun naman tinatawag natin na total lunar eclipse, nangyayari naman ito when the entire moon enters the planet's umbra. Okay, so for your learning task number two, there are five questions here. And using the diagram here, you're going to answer the following questions. And I think I do not need to uh, repeat the answers for this because we already discussed this in our discussion. So the first question is, what causes eclipse to happen? So, alam nyo na yan. Number two, when does a solar eclipse occur? Pakibalikan ng ating video lesson. Nakalagay siya kung kailan nangyayari ang solar eclipse. How about number three, when does a lunar eclipse occur? Alam nyo na rin yan. Ano ang position ng heavenly bodies? When it is lunar eclipse, and yun lang ang sagot. Number four, what is the lighter shadow cast during an eclipse cold? Is it umbra or pinumbra? Uy, na-discuss natin yan. So, dapat alam mo ang sagot. And number five, what do you call the dark shadow cast by the Earth on the moon? Ay, alam mo na rin yan. Diba sabi natin, meron tayong two cast of shadow, the umbra and the pinumbra. So, alin nga doon ang light at alin nga doon ang dark? Uy, na-discuss natin yan. So, dapat alam niyong sagutin yan. Okay, so dalawang beses kong inulit kung paano ba ang position ng heavenly bodies when it comes to solar eclipse and lunar eclipse. So, in your learning task number three, Meron ditong figure. Yan. So, meron ditong sun, tapos may moon, tapos may earth. Meron ding sun, tapos may earth, may moon. So, ngayon, ilalagay nyo dyan, alin kaya dyan sa dalawa ang solar eclipse at alin dyan ang lunar eclipse. So, and linabelan nyo lang kung alin dyan nyo, sun, moon, and earth. At sabi ko nga sa inyo, na-discuss ko na sa inyo kung ano ang position ng heavenly bodies when it comes to solar eclipse and lunar eclipse. So, kaya-kaya niya yung sagutan, okay? Okay, so for your learning task number 4, i-explain ko lang kung paano nyo ito gagawin. So, meron dito, ang title ng learning task number 4 is My DIY Solar and Lunar Eclipse. So, meron dyan dalawang box. So, kailangan nyo lang mag-drawing kung paano ang itsura ng solar and lunar eclipse. So, using what you have learned in this lesson block, so you have to create models to illustrate the solar and lunar eclipse by using flashlight, small ball, and big ball. So yung flashlight, syempre, ito yung magsaserve as your sun. And then yung big ball, ito yung magsaserve naman as your earth. And the small ball, syempre, ito naman ang magsaserve as your moon. So mag-illustrate lang kayo, idodrawing nyo lang dyan. Ano ang magiging itsura ng inyong DIY solar and lunar eclipse? Since alam nyo na naman ang position ng heavenly bodies, when it comes to solar and lunar eclipse, so this activity will be easy for you. Okay? Yeah. For learning task number 5, i-explain ko lang din sa inyo ang gagawin nyo sa Venn diagram. I know that you are very familiar with the Venn diagram. This one. So, ang Venn diagram ay usually ginagamit kapag comparison ng uh, comparison, comparing and contrasting. So, meron siyang dalawang bilog na nag-overlap. So, dun sa left side, nandyan yung solar eclipse. And then, sa right side, nandyan yung lunar eclipse. At sa gitna, yan, dyan yung ilalagay yung similarities ng dalawa. So, in your learning task number 5, there are 10 statements there descriptive. So, uh, what you're going to do is to put every sentence kung siya ba ay solar eclipse or lunar eclipse. But if it happens na nagpo-follow siya uh, both solar and lunar eclipse, so ilalagay niyo siya ay doon sa gitna. Okay? Yan po ang Venn diagram. Yan ang ginagamit natin if we are comparing and contrasting two different uh, object or two different kung ano man yung pinag-compare. Ano? Okay! Okay, so for the continuation, let us find out if you really understood the lesson that we discussed in our lesson vlog today. Okay, so fill in the blanks with the correct answer 
to complete the sentence, let us proceed with number one. Sentence number one. Black is an astronomical event. It is when an object in the sky moves into the shadow of another such object. The correct answer is... Okay, very good. That's eclipse. Number two. Black occurs on a new moon phase of the month. The correct answer is... Okay, very good. That's lunar eclipse. How about number three? Black occurs when the sun, the earth, and the moon are in a straight line. Straight line. Sun, earth, and moon. That is... Okay, very good. Lunar eclipse. How about next number four? Black occurs when the moon passes directly between the sun and the earth. The moon blocks the light rays and casts a shadow on earth. The correct answer is... Okay, very good. That's solar eclipse. Okay, next, another assessment. So just choose the latter of the correct answer. So I want you to choose the best answer for this. Okay, let's start with number one. So the largest part of an eclipse, less dark outer part of the shadow. Is it A, umbra, B, penumbra, C, lunar eclipse, or D, solar eclipse? The correct answer is, okay, it's letter B, penumbra. Let's proceed with question number two. When one object passes through the shadow of another, it is an blank. A, eclipse, B, reflection, C, crater, or letter D, axis. Ang tamang sagot ay? Okay, very good. That's letter A, eclipse. How about third question? A solar eclipse happens when the blank. A, sun is between the moon and the earth. B, moon is between the earth and the sun. C, sun is between the earth and the moon. Or letter D, earth is between sun and moon. The correct answer is... Okay, that's letter B. Moon is between the earth and the sun. Okay, let's proceed with number four. Last question. A lunar eclipse takes place when the blank. A, sun is between the earth and the moon. B, earth is between the sun and the moon. C, sun is between moon and earth. Or letter D, moon is between the earth and sun. Okay, that's letter B. Earth is between sun and moon. This is the end of our lesson vlog for today's lesson. So, tapos na ang ating week 7 and 8. Tapos na ang ating quarter 4. Imagine that. Nakatapos tayo mo malang first quarter hanggang fourth quarter ng lesson sa grade 7, science 7. Kahit tayo ay distance learning. So, gusto ko nga lang palang magpasalamat sa lahat ng aking sumusubaybay sa aking YouTube channel. At patuloy na naghihintay, nag-aabang kahit medyo natatagalan ako sa pag-upload. Maraming salamat sa inyong support. Thank you sa pagsusubscribe. Sana i-share nyo rin ang mga video na to na pwedeng makatulong din naman sa iba nyong mga classmate, kaibigan, kay kaklase, kapatid, or kung sino man. Shout out kay JR Mendoza. Thank you so much, ma'am. Very well explained po. Naintindihan ko na po ng ayos. Aabangan ko po ang vlog mo sa grade 8. Pwede po bang pa-shout? Ayun na. Sina-shout out na kita. Hello, JR Mendoza. So, ayan. At lalo na kay Kate Fondano na talagang sumusubaybay palagi sa aking lesson vlog. Hello din kay Slay Queen Yes. Yan. Thank you so much. So, kung nagustuhan nyo ulit ang video lesson na to, kindly leave your comment below. Babasahin natin yan. Pupusuan natin yan syempre at magka-comment ako dyan. Ano, maraming salamat sa patuloy na pagsubaybay. Sana ay may natutunan kayo. So again, this is me, Teacher Tim, your science teacher for today's vlog. Marami pa tayong pagsasamahang mga vlogs. Andyan lang ang aking Science 8 lessons. So sana ay patuloy yung suportahan ang aking YouTube channel. Thank you so much and I hope to see you next time. Bye and have a good day. Ay, teka lang, kung hindi ka pa nakasubscribe sa, sa channel na ito, please subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates in science lesson. Bye!